Hey folks, this is Josh Darney Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is food plot day. Whether the weather gods like it or not, I don't care. If it rains buckets, we're gonna drop this tiller in the ground and we're gonna plant up a food plot right here. Now I know what you're thinking. Josh, shouldn't you have mowed first? Josh, shouldn't you have killed that grass first? Well, we're gonna put this everything attachments tiller to the test. We're gonna drop it in wet ground, which is what we shouldn't do. And we're gonna eat up this whole spot of Lespedeza grass and we're gonna plant a food plot. So it's gonna be pretty awesome, pretty fun time today. Our deer stand is back here. You can probably see it back there in the background. We've got rows of hay. So a little row of hay, a little space for the deer to come out. A little row of hay, little space for the deer to come out. So we've got this all set up so we can have a good time hunting this year and we're gonna get this food plot in the ground. So when we get done, we're gonna have some fun and run the cultipacker over it, all right? All right, before we get started, what you need to know is it's been raining on and off for like, I'm gonna say two months here on the farm. Anything from like seven inches in two hours to three inches in a half hour to just a steady rain. So the last few days we've gotten a steady rain, but the ground has had a little bit of a chance to dry out. This is my best chance, my best opportunity to put this tiller in the ground and use it. There'll be a future video we'll be using a plow and a disc harrow and the cultipacker to plant another food plot on the other side of the farm where it's a little bit rockier. So this soil isn't very rocky compared to the other side of the farm. It's perfect for tilling, or at least I hope it's perfect for tilling. So we're gonna drop this tiller in the ground. This is the Everything Attachment 62 inch tiller and we'll show you planting this food plot. There's a lot of cool stuff in this video. There's a lot of things to learn and a whole lot of fun to be had. So I hope you have some fun with me. Well, I think the results pretty much speak for themselves here. This is looking beautiful. We've got a lot more to go here. We're probably gonna till up somewhere in the neighborhood of a half acre, maybe a little bit less. I had no idea this thing was gonna work so easy. It really does a great job on that little Kubota tractor. So awesome, awesome. Let's get busy. I'll get you some more cool footage. Folks, I don't know how else to say it, but the proof is in the pudding. That thing went right through that tall grass like it was butter. I say tall grass, it's about knee high and it's less badiza grass, so it's a thicker stem. It's a legume, okay? So it's kind of like a, it's a sticky type stem, like a, like a stick, a woody stem. 
it just chewed right through it no problems no clogs no issues only issue i hit a big rock and the clutch itself kicked in there's a clutch built into this model let me show you real quick so inside this little housing is a little clutch and that clutch kicked in when i hit a rock with the tines it just bound up with a rock inside there you can see i've got a little cleanup to do but for the amount of grass that i blasted through right there really i'm gonna have to say there's not much cleanup it seems to be doing good it didn't put any wear on the tines or anything like that just an all-around great machine next thing we've got to do is we got to put our seed down out here on this food plot and it's getting ready to rain so say a little prayer for me what we're going to use to put the seed down is a solo hardback cedar i'll show you and there'll be links down below to all this stuff if you've got any more questions about the tiller from everything attachments or any of the products that we use from everything attachments there'll be a link down below to their website you can check it out always a struggle when i'm filming on the other side of the farm i forgot my tripod uh you're sitting up on a hay bale right now watching me this is the solo cedar and basically you just run this strap over your shoulder it's got a little hook right here just like so just like that and you turn the hand crank there's several little adjustments there's an adjuster that'll throw it this way or that way or straight out to the center it's really really handy especially if you're a smaller person being a smaller person and not being able to hold a whole lot of weight in your cedar those big bag cedars that get bulky and cumbersome this thing is not as bulky not as cumbersome and we'll show you how it works in action we're going to load it full of this power plant whitetail seed here's a seed we're going to use imperial whitetail power plant spring summer wildlife food plot and it says it plants three quarters to one acre i should have planted this probably back in april according to the map it has a little map with dates and everything on the back of it but let's look at what our seed content is and what we're planting for food plot so we have green castle soybeans iron clay cow peas sunflower sun hemp other crop inert matter and 0.2 percent weed seed and other crop is only one percent so it's mostly soybeans it's 56 percent soybeans and 22 percent cow peas and then 10 percent sunflower so that's what we're planting imperial whitetail now i ain't getting paid to tell you about any of this stuff i'm just telling you about it because it's fun so let's get out here and we'll show you how this cedar works it works pretty good i don't have a tripod so you're gonna have to watch me again off a of hay bale an unfortunate scenario that's presented itself here let me show you real quick so inside my food plot bag the seeds have been raided by bugs that's not cool that's all bug larva so we have enough to plant three quarters to one acre but i think we're just going to plaster it all right down here we're not going to go to another food plot today we're just going to blast all this down just in case 80 percent of the seeds been destroyed that's kind of sad see you can see all those like bug droppings in there not cool we're gonna run like crazy because that right there is coming at us we'll come back with the cult packer here in just a second let's seed it Woo! now you guys are probably wondering why i'm not using a big old tractor spreader well it would have took longer for me to hook up the tractor seed spreader than it would have been to spread the seeds so that's why all right we put that seed down we put it thick and heavy i'm also going to go over this with a little bit of clover when i go back to the house i'm going to load up some clover seed and i'm going to throw some handfuls of clover seed out here too i just think it's good practice a good idea clover is really expensive but this will make an awesome little food plot and keep the deer out here so turkeys and doves are the enemy right now so for the next probably hmm, two weeks as these things start to sprout the turkeys and the doves are going to be in here in full force so hopefully they don't eat up all the grub and if they do so be it i'll still kill a deer if they don't whatever so let's go ahead and we'll go get the cult packer and a little clover to sling out here okay let's give you a few specs on the tiller as we head back the tiller is a 62 inch it's from everything attachments it's recommended horsepower range is between 26 and 45 horsepower weighs 516 pounds and will cut seven and one half inches deep so pretty cool we really didn't need to go so deep we needed to just scratch up the ground a little bit to get those seeds in so pretty happy with it uh, i can't complain about anything we'll do a review on this kubota tractor at some point too i'll tell you about a few quirks that i really 
kind of don't like. That's okay, everybody's got their own opinion. I'll tell you all about it. One thing is checking the oil in this thing is a pain in the butt. That shouldn't be a pain in the butt. You should be able to check it really easy and you should check it every time you use it. Let's get on to the house. So everybody knows this is land that's a cutover. So this is cut in timber and we'll be clearing it for pasture pretty soon, but right now it's just kind of grown up in weeds. I don't see a lot of little trees, but I see a lot of weeds. This is the area where our waterfall is, kind of right over the hill right here. And this is where the bridge washed out. We'll take it in. All right, so we're coming up on the area where the bridge washed out. This is not fun, not a pleasant sight. Uh, water was way up into here and washed my uh, bridge partially out. At least it's still here. That's cool. It's packed down here, but I got to refill that with a backhoe and get on to the house. We're still five minutes from the house. Okay, let's show you another pretty cool feature about this tiller. There's a little pin you pull out and you drop that leg. You drop your pin back in, in the lower area and then slide him in there. And now you have a foot. So when you get ready to drop your tiller, it sits down on the foot and it doesn't flop over. That's a common problem with a tiller. It'll just bloop, drop right over. Okay, so if you've never seen one, this is a cultipacker. These big discs are shaped like T's. And as they roll over the land, they press the seed down into the ground. And that's one of the biggest problems with planting a food plot is that your seed gets poor contact with the soil. It doesn't actually sink down in and consequently your seed doesn't come up. So the solution to this problem is the cultipacker. Now, this is a bag of clover seed. This is enough clover seed to do probably three acres. Well, we're gonna go ahead and split about half of this. So this is a one gallon bag. This is probably a pint of uh, clover seed, maybe a pound, pound and a half. And this will do this whole food plot. And simply enough spreading clover seed, I'm just using this little Scott's clover seed spreader or fertilizer spreader that I had for my small lawn. Um, once again, everything I use here, there'll be a link down in the description. The cool thing about this cultipacker, let me take you around it real quick here and then I'll throw my seed out and we'll pack it down. So the thought process that went into making this cultipacker is a little bit different. Most of the time you have to prop your cultipacker up on blocks or something like that to make it sit upright. Well, Everything Attachments has put this stand on here and basically you just loosen those bolts and flip that stand up. And that way you have a stand to store your cultipacker up out of the ground so it doesn't rust and corrode. Guess what would have been even more cool if I wouldn't have forgot my wrench to take those loose with. The cool thing about Lodino Clover is that it seeds itself back out and then it comes back year after year after year so I won't have to replant clover here next year. This will be an established food plot. We got it done, job well done. Let me tell you guys, having the right equipment really makes all the difference in the world. Throwing that tiller in the ground, we tilled down about that deep right there, got the ground all stirred up. Even though we're in high grass or fairly high grass here, that tiller just chewed right through it, threw our seed down, hit it with the cultipacker, no problem. So in the next food plot video, we'll show you how we do it with a plow, a disc harrow, and the cultipacker also and we'll be seeding clover and probably some radishes in there with it too so for now that's it guys if you have any questions suggestions comments any ideas or anything please post it down there in the comments and if you know who said that right there please post it down there in the comments make me proud all right thanks a lot for joining me here on the farm vlog today we enjoyed showing you a few attachments that we got from everything attachments good stuff high quality stuff very happy with it Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm, okay? Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Hee <laughs> hee!
Come on, baby. Be my friend. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. The strap is made by Rubik. Hey, bud. Here you go, bud. I'm spilling seed because of being a ding dong. Mmm, mealworms. Google it.